Kenya is a country in East Africa. The country is mostly known worldwide through tourism, athletics, and agriculture. In this documentary, we seek to capture on the problems that the country is facing. Therefore, this is a documentary based on the problem of water and sanitation in Kenya, especially Kajiado County. The project is done by Pekea International, based in Perth, in Western Australia. Water crisis is the current biggest struggle that Kenya is facing currently. The government is facing a hard time to supply clean water to its people. Percentage of Kenyans depends heavily on water resources not only as a drinking water, but also for agriculture and livestock. Kajado district is a semi-arid area that is inhabited by one main community, which are the Maasai. This community are mainly farmers who keep large farms of cattle, sheep and goats. Although Kajiado is in the slopes of Mount Kilimanjaro, the area also borders two national parks. That is Ambosel National Park to the south and the Tsavo National Park to the west. Peck International is an organization that originated from Perth in Western Australia. The main aim for our organization is going to be um, water, yeah. like uh, Derek has said. Uh, education yeah. and health. Yeah. Uh, what we're looking at doing is starting something from home, yeah. charity begins at home, yeah. and this will be Africa wide. Mm -hmm. So, whoever views and sees this website and everything else, yeah. we're talking about something that comes from our hearts. Yeah. And God bless. area, for example, near Amboseli National Park. Livestock and wild animals are fighting for the same source. When you come in the evening, you meet the elephant, buffaloes, they are all around searching for water. And they are, they will be glad if they get a donor to come and drink for them water. They will be so happy and appreciate. Sometimes they get a lot of problems when they walk to some kilometer to go and fetch for water, then others are being attacked by animals. And when they see you, 
they heard that we want to help the community. They are very happy and they appreciate and they will come here. <laughs> PEC International has been on the ground to evaluate the need of the community. Maji ya mekosekana. Water in itself has been the greatest problem which everyone in the community was talking about. Okay. Kwa hiyo eneo hili unalo liona hili. Yeah. Wale mifugo wote wange kuna kipindi wahu unyua maji hapa. Yeah. Lakini sasa ufanyeje na kuna maji. Na kuna maji. Okay. Kwa hiyo ndiyo manake tunatembea hapa. Mhm. Tukiwa kwa sihi mm -hmm. washikane kama community yeah. tuweze kuwa kuwa kwa taftia maji This is the local water. You can see the color. <coughs> That's drinking water. Take the comparison between the two. That water makes so many kids die and also go to the hospitals. We need to get some clean water for these precious people. But the people around here are digging up the dra the drain up water pathway to 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 get water to drink. They take for sedimentation. Mm. It is still not safe for drinking. Mm. So, this is it will live. This is water to drink. Mm -hmm. The people around here are going to drink. This mother is going to take for her children to drink this. Food of waterborne diseases, cholera, and everything. This is clean water. This is what they drink. We need to help these people. We need help. We need help. Yeah. Now you can see. This is the kind of water these people drink. You can see, the water is dirty, it's full of contaminated diseases, and they take it home, these women take it home for their family. This was a, like, a, like a river here, it got dried up. So they have no other choice than to come and scoop water from the sand. Now, when they put it here, they take it home and leave it to, to cool down, sediment. to sediment, then they take it as water for drinking, for their children, for cooking, and other household calls. So, this is the water. 
we really need to help these people to find clean water. Your support to these people can give them clean water and good health. You might you can answer to me when you start taking this water. Unaanza kusikia yani hata ukinywa inaanuka nini makoje ya ngombe it is uh, the water itself is uh, it, even the taste is like uh, cows urine because the cows pass through here so na pengine hata hii maji una baada hii maji inakuja kupita hapa after 7 days uh, usually water the, the river is draw, is dried up and uh, for, the, for the last seven days there has not been water. So, katika hizo siku singine so hote maji mea katika tunayenda tukichimba na hii changarawe na inaansa kupeleka maji chini. So, during this time that we, is dry, we have a dry spell, the water it gets deeper. You will have to dig even deeper to get the water. So, At the moment it's a bit uh, close, the water level is a bit close. So, hata kwa sasa alisi tunaona iko karibu, juu kuna siku si watu wanakuja na majembe, njo wafunje, juu unaesa ingia na ujui kama ita, itarudi, juu unaendelea ukienda chini. At, at the moment the water table is close, there are times when, 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 when they dig very deep and usually it's very risky because it can even collapse on, uh, on, 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 on a person. Na problem ya hii maji sana hata ukiangalia watu wa huku sana. Ili ugonjwa sana inatusumbua ni mamba ya taifu the, 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 main, the main disease here that uh, these people have is typhoid, the waterborne diseases because of the, of the dirty water they are drinking. So na hakuna sasa ikawa hiyo ndio problem ya hii mtu. So that is the problem that we have. Okay, water, okay, okay, water is a real issue. Na tuna, tuna omba mutusaidie tujui tupate maji mzuri we 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 hope we are praying that we, we ask you guys to help us so that we can at least get clean water and have and live decent lives like other Kenyans now you can see this water is a bit cleaner than the first one because they are using the crude sedimentation method when they take that water from there they pour it here somewhere like here then this water goes through, through, the sand. through the sand, it comes out here cleaner. So they are doing this repeatedly many times. They fill it in a container like this one, like I'm doing here. Then they pour it somewhere like here. And this water will go through the sand and comes out here clean. And so with them they say it is now clean water for them. Fill a 20 liter gallon takes about four four hours or so. To fill one 20 liter, this is 10 liters. So one takes two hours, another two hours to get full. So they do this continuously. This is tough. They have dug so many so many holes within this river bed. You can see, you can see there is another one here which has dried up and uh, several others. There are very many. Uh, this one has dried up. You can never get a, a, even a drop of water here. The, along, along this uh, dry, dry up uh, riverbed, there are so many holes where women come to fetch water. It takes, like we said, four hours to fill a 20 liter gallon. The people here, they say they cannot even take a decent bath. We need to help these people urgently. We need to sink a borehole for the people of Olorica. Let's support these people so that they can live a decent life like all of us. Women have Sun. filled up their gallons. That is four hours later. We have been here, they have filled up their gallons. Now to preserve the water, that is still under the bed. They have to, 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 to pour sand so that it doesn't evaporate. That is their preservation so that the next person can come and still get some water. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <mabe. laughs> 
Yeah, this is another this is another water hole that, that is being uh, filled with sand for preservation. They want to preserve the water so that the next person can come and uh, have a drop of the water. Of the not so clean, not very clean water. That is the preservation. Keeping it for a brother. For the next person. So that when they come, they can have some water to take home. This, this is the, the cleanest, the cleanest the water can be. This is the cleanest the water can be. It is a drop of life for them. Getting this will take about not less than 10 minutes to fill up this from, from, from the holes that they dig. This is a situation at the ground. This is how hard it is to get water to drink. How hard it is to have a bath in this community. We seek your partnership to bring life to these people. Thank you. Imbusi. Imbusi ya nakasi kutatu bila ya kunya maji. Okay. Anaenda, anapelekwa ile muto yuko uko kwa pande ya njala yuko. Mm -hmm. Okay. His name is Pastor John Tapet. He works here in this church called Free Pentecostal Fellowship in Kenya. Na tena area naji Olorika. In this locality called Olorika. Na kaje na district ni kiti loito kuto district. This is loito kuto district. Eh Kajado County, Kenya. Kajado County, Kenya. Nigiara, nigiara enyamali yangare. We have a very big problem of water. Sometimes our livestock go for days without water. The women have to go far away to go and look for water. So I urge and I kindly request our brothers from Australia. On behalf of our dear brother Paul, who is with us here today, <laughs> kindly do help us. May God bless you all. Amen. Clients plant, uh, maybe call them the patients. About 5,000. Uh, and actually, we have a unit, a community unit by the name Oloriga Community Unit, whereby it consists of three villages. Sure. That is this area central. Then you have an area called Lessie Miti. And be loud, Kidogo, because of this. Then you have another area by the name Tiririka. Uh -huh. Then another area called uh, Enarogenderit. Then you have adjacent villages here we call them Njalai. Though Njalai is on the other side, but we also serve the village. Watching a short story of the Tok Tok. Unfortunately, this is not a story. What you're watching here is uh, the hard reality 
of the Kajado area. In the course of in the course of our visit um, in the church, which was lovely, you saw the amount of singing and everything else. There was a lady that came to my attention. Uh, she was she's been a cripple for about forty years. I understand that uh, from one place to the other, the transport is that uh, the grandkids will carry them or will carry the lady on her back. Now. Um, pretty crippled myself. I lost my right leg, and instead of using my own wheelchair, which I brought from Australia, I had to give it away. And it's just because this woman cannot even go to the toilet. That will help so much this lady. And as for our organization, we also be needing lots and lots of wheelchairs. These wheelchairs will be donated freely to all the people in the community, especially people that are disabled. Sometimes these people are lost and left at home to fend for themselves. That's the president of Peck Care International that started in Perth, Western Australia. Uh, I'm also thankful for what Part of my friends and fellow Western Australians have done. It's a donation of 96 beds that are going to be going to Loitoktok District Hospital. As I'm talking to you, these beds will be leaving Fremantle, the depot of Fremantle, uh, to Mombasa. It's a donation that I have personally put my heart into. And also, um, I will have saying thank you because some of this was actually donated by. Uh, different people, we brought them together and put them into a uh, container uh, so that some of these people can also benefit in small dispensaries, in remote places like I've shown with the water, and some to our uh, district national hospital. Okay, well, you've seen much of what we had to say. The water in this place is absolutely atrocious. The kind of water that I saw there is water that is below drinking standards. We would urge everyone who is looking at helping us, Pay Care International, for any donation we accept from your two dollars to anything that you have, it's all tax deductible. This water, or the money, should I say, that is coming to our organization will not be uh, spent on big budgets like most other charitable organizations have. It will go directly to boreholes and wells that will be distributed around these areas for clean, sustainable water source. Last but not least, the contact of how to help us will be on our screen, there will be websites, and our telephone numbers are 24 hours a day. If there is no one to grab your number, uh, if there will be no one to grab your phone, you will be sure to uh, get back in touch with you as soon as possible. Like you probably say, I'm saying, I'm quite desperate for some of this uh, water in areas that don't need a description. Yeah, my 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 yeah, my